Hi everyone, today we will fix one of the most common Excel problems, data that looks fine but doesn't behave right. In this video, I'll show you how to format your Excel data the right way so everything looks clean and works perfectly. Here you can see my data looks like numbers but there are some entries that are actually not numbers but text. So if we try to apply any formula here, you will see that it will not give us the accurate results. So, the main task here is to convert these text numbers into actual numbers so that any operation can be applied correctly. If I try to convert it into number using the number format, then again you can see here that it will not change the text into numbers. This means that this technique will not work here. So, in order to correct it, place your cursor on any empty cell and type 1. Then again place your cursor over it and from the keyboard press Ctrl C. Then select your data range and press Ctrl Alt V from the keyboard. Now this space special window will appear and in this window under the operations choose multiply and press OK. And now you can see that it has converted the last two entries into actual numbers. You can also see the change in some result. Okay, so this is how you can change your text into numbers. Now let's see another example. Sometimes we come across such values where the numbers appear in scientific notion due to their length. So in order to correct it, what you can do is to select your data and then press Ctrl 1. From here, go to number. If you want decimal sign, you can keep it. Otherwise, place zero here and press OK. And here, you can see that your numbers will be converted into actual numbers. Now, let's move towards our second example. In this example, you can see that I have a column of dates, but the problem here is that some dates are actually text. So we have to find out any way that we can apply on the complete column to correct the text dates because if you have a large data, then correcting them one by one will consume a lot of time. Here you can see that this is my correct date and the format of it is like month, day, year. So this is basically MDY. If you check the second date, then again the format is like MDY, month comes first, date comes second, and year comes last. You actually have to see these results that are appearing in the formula bar, okay? So here it is written 6th May 2025, but here it is month, day, and year. That's why I am following what is I am seeing here, okay? But if you see this date, this is basically a text entry, you can see that it is actually BMY, day is first, month is second, and then comes year. So in order to correct it, we have to convert all these dates into MDY. For that purpose, select your date column, go to data tab, and here go to data tools. In data tools, you will find the option of text to columns, click on that, and press next, again press next. And here you will see the option of date. Choose it and from the list of options, we have to choose the option in which our real dates are existing. So our real dates are existing in MDY format. So I am going to choose MDY from here. Now let's press finish. And here you can see that it has converted the last text field entries into accurate date format. Now let's move towards another example. Here, let's say you want to add the units in your data. So if you try add units manually, then it will cause error when you apply formula. Let's say we multiply this value with this, press enter and here you are seeing the value error. The problem here is this entry is no more a number. It is basically a combination of number and text. That's why the formula is not working perfectly. So in order to avoid this issue, first select the column where you want to see your units, then press control one. From here, go to custom. Type zero. If you want your unit to be appear after the number, then keep the zero at the front. Then place inverted commas and type units here and close the inverted commas, okay? In this sample, you can see that it will give the results in this format. If you want a space, you can add space between them and press key. And here you can see that units have been appeared with the quantity. Now, 
here you can see the result is appearing correctly now if you drag this formula downwards you can see that the calculations have been applied on the quantity column correctly so this is how you can correct your formatting issues in excel before applying any formula on your number date or unit columns so if you like the today's tricks then don't forget to hit like and drop a comment if you want to learn more tips and tricks then don't forget to subscribe to my channel this is all for today stay blessed stay happy